Okay, on this tutorial we're going to figure out how to um, take a Photoshop layout and uh, make it a uh, CSS layout using uh, CSS tools. Um, first of all, made my little layout here, um, just real quick. Uh, this is uh, my layout. I have it set up in what divs I have. Um, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and do this. First thing you're going to do is uh, set these guides up to where you what divs you want. So um, I have this right here set up to be my header. Uh, this set up to be my uh, toolbar. Uh, float left, float right, and then I have a footer down here. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to take your crop tool and uh, cut these out. Uh, make sure you're right on the guides. And then you're going to go File, Save for Web Devices. And then save that, save it as whatever, whatever you, looks good or um, whatever you prefer. Um, for these, I have JPEGs. Um, but anyway, um, I have all my files set up, and good to go. And then I made an index.html file in Dreamweaver. Um, you can change that to whatever you want. Um, so if you look here on my files, here I have um, an images folder with all my images in it. I have an index and a styles.css. First thing we're going to do is uh, we are going to um, link a style sheet inside here. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our CSS panel, this guy. We're going to click uh, this little attach style sheet link. Um, if this is in your root folder, then it's just going to be styles.css. If it's in like a styles folder, it's going to be styles. Uh, it'll be like styles slash styles.css. But anyway, mine's just like that. So I'm going to press enter here. Or um, now, so now we should have a uh, style sheet linked up here. So styles.css. So we're about ready to um, start coding this. First thing we're going to do is change the title of this document. We'll say it um, Photoshop CSS. And then we're going to start adding stuff into the body here. In this video, we're only going to show the setup. Uh, the next video, part two, we're going to show it all, or the rest of it. Um, first thing we're going to do is uh, div ID wrapper. And then we're going to close this div. And we're going to add a um, header inside the wrapper. So div ID header oh what am I doing here close that okay now outside the header we're going to add a uh, div ID content inside the content we're gonna have two floats so div ID uh, float left and close that and div ID float oh, I spelled that wrong float right. If I move too fast for you guys, uh, just pause it and have this set up um, the way it is here. And make sure we close the content div as well. Uh, I just put the footer div um, outside the wrapper. Um, that's, pers that's my per personal preference. If you want to put it inside there, it's fine with you. Or fine with me. Um, so now we got these floats in here. We're also going to have to make a div that clears these floats so this content stays um, even, the content div stays even. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to have an empty div, div id clear. So now we're all set up and then in the next video we're going to start adding the CSS for these divs here. Um, we're also going to add uh, eventually by the time, by the time uh, we're done we're going to add a toolbar, menu bar, um, all that good stuff, we'll add a footer, uh, and you will have a cool uh, two-column layout uh, in CSS with your uh, Photoshop layout you created. Um, just watch the next video, and we'll start styling it.